Welcome back to the Queen of DIY. Today we're going to do a credenza makeover. And so we saw this credenza. It's three thousand dollars. And I had I'm in a Facebook group called Sit Craft and Sip, and the leader of the group made over the her credenza. And so I kind of used her idea and to do my own. So I purchased a credenza on Facebook Market, and I did mine a little different than hers i added crystal legs so i love everything crystal i have crystal legs all in my living room so you just really just had to switch them out and raise the credenza off the ground so it was on the ground and i raised it up this thing was a little musty so i guess they had had it in storage for a while so i cleaned it very very gear with mineral spirits as well as sanded the thing. Uh oh, there's my cat. Uh, yeah, and I just sanded it really, really good and spray painted it with black paint. A lot of the things is not on the video that I did. I just wanted to talk you through it, okay? So I wanted to glam this thing out. So not only did I um, paint it, I also added mirror to turn this into a mirrored credenza so yeah so you just add the glue and you're gonna have clamps on I always use clamps just to hold down the glue so they can glue that way um, we use the glue that we use um, all the everything will be that I use will be beneath the video but let me just let you know that we also did use liquid nails um, we got the mirror cut at Lowe's and in order to make one long piece to fit the mirror, I had to virtually cut the measurements in half and make one piece turn into two pieces turn into one because their measurements, they, they only let their measurements go so long. So after you put the glue on, you just mash it down and it's going to dry. Now, I wanted to kind of just make it a surprise opening when you open it up so I took some wallpaper that I had an old wallpaper and you just use cut it into the size that you need for uh, the drawers and I just use some wallpaper glue a, a paint roller uh, you put the wallpaper glue on there and then glued the uh, different spots on the credenza uh, and put use the old wallpaper that I had. So yeah, and you just use wallpaper glue with it. So it's not, not that hard. And it's just a surprise opening uh, for your credenza. Also, I had used some trim for the pink couch that's in the room. I don't think, I don't know if you all saw the pink couch before. So I still had that, that trim. And what I did was I wanted to just have, like I said, a surprise opening. And I just used some, with the trim, I used a hot glue gun and trimmed down the tops of the drawers. So it just has a little, like I said, a little surprise opening. And you'll never see this unless, you know, you do it yourself. We also, I did not like the doors just plain black. So I wanted to, my room is black and white. So I had some difficulties with the white trim. I just kind of had some problems with it. So I did have to get somebody to end up helping me with it. Um, I was just got so busy. So I did, you know, pay somebody to finish the product. So we did not, you're not going to see me be able to put the trim on the white trim, but it's just as simple as painting it and drilling holes on the door knockers. So we purchased door knockers on those lion head knockers, put holes in it and then just screw them in. Um, so that's really the gist of it. This is more of just a tutorial, just me telling you what I did in the event you want to do the same. So, oh, let me just tell you this part. So at the very end, I ended up breaking a little bit of chip the glass. <laughs> so after I chipped the glass, um, I had to think of a way to cover up that little chip piece. So I purchased some trim. Um, and of course, I'm all things glam and I utilize this trim, this bling rhinestone trim. And it, it, I mean, it's beautiful. Like, I'm so glad I chipped it because I wasn't going to put anything on it. But it really, really, really made a difference in this piece. 
Um, so yeah, so and and let me just tell you, this trim is not really hard to make. Like I said, the 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 and beneath the video, I'll show you where I got it, and you'll be able to do the same. It, isn't it just beautiful? I mean, it really, really, really turned out just just unreal of what I would have thought it would have turned out. But I love it. And if you have any questions, please comment below.